Hi there, this is Mrs. Morales. You may have noticed that in this week's newsletter, we don't have Principal's Corner anymore. We now have our weekly attendance by SLC. I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Your Principal's message will now be delivered via video every Monday. So we start off with today, November 7th, with your first Monday Minutes from your Principal. I want to share with you a few uh, new members that joined our faculty. We have a new security guard. His name is Mr. Vasquez. We have a couple of clerks, Judy Hernandez at the athletic office and also Sandra Lasso here in the front office. Also joining us is finally our parent specialist, Mr. Ramiro Trevino. If you see them, say hi and welcome them to our campus. I want to remind you about CPT. CPT is tomorrow and tomorrow I know is a B day, but we had to move CPT to a B day. So we will be meeting by departments at the faculty conference room. I want to also remind you that on Thursday, Thursday is also a critical day. Make sure that you meet with your departments for content planning. We're getting ready for testing our retesters in December, and there's a lot of work to be done. I want to acknowledge all the departments that already got together and started planning for our retesters. We will be uh, sharing with you all a December EOC retesting information with dates and review sessions for our students as we prepare for the testing. I want to recognize Ms. Celica Peña and all our counselors for putting all that data together for us. I want to also let everybody know that we had our social studies uh, uh, presidential race this past Friday and Hillary won here at Westlake High School. We want to also remind everybody to go out and vote. Tomorrow is election day. That's Tuesday. Make sure that you go after school. Uh, we will be occupying our CPT time, so you're more than welcome to go during lunch or after school. I want to also say the best of luck to our basketball teams and our wrestling teams as they start their season and a big congratulations to our football and our marching band as we ended their seasons this past Friday. Well, thank you for the memories and good job everybody. I want to acknowledge all our student organizations that participated every Friday night throughout this year. Thank you Coach Virial and Mr. Valenzuela. And last but not least, I want to announce that on Friday, Friday is Veterans Day. So on Friday, Veterans Day, instead of wearing purple, Friday I ask that everybody wears either red, white, and or blue to honor and recognize all the men and women that have served our country. And then after our Friday is uh, Saturday, and on Saturday we have our third annual Stomp Out Diabetes, and this is by the uh, South Texas Junior Diabetic Association. They have a 5K run that's going to be on Saturday. I invite you and your students to go out there. If you have any students that need to do community service, it's a great opportunity. I'm looking for one organization uh, to help during the three, the three mile run. I need a group of about eight to ten students to cheer on runners uh, out there in Westlaco, and that's going to be on Saturday. I want to tell you all also that on Friday, Friday, quick reminder, I know I've said it a few times, but teachers, Friday, the Veterans Day program, we're busing all our juniors and seniors. Only juniors and seniors will be able to attend the Veterans Day program. Uh, we weren't able to do it here at Wessico High School. We have our girls uh, basketball tournament, the Chick-fil-A tournament, will be here Thursday and Friday and I believe Saturday. Therefore, Friday, we had to change our location to the PAC. Unfortunately, not all 2,500 students fit at the PAC Center, so only juniors and seniors will be participating in this event. And next year, our sophomores and juniors, as they go up, they will be able to participate. Once again, I want to say thank you to all our men and women that have served our country. Happy Veterans Day on Friday, and don't forget, go out and vote. Thank you.